All right, greetings everybody, and hopefully the microphone is working today, but we shall see uh, as I will hopefully check and before it goes up and everything's fine, then hopefully YouTube can get its shit together and also make sure that this uh, recording goes good. But anyway, uh, today we're going to be talking about global news and impressions about a certain character, and we're going to be sharing... A little bit of extra information about Cloud, Tifa, and the new VC. So let's get moving. All right, first off, Cloud. Cloud, of course, Light Elemental Greatsword. And some people have major hopes for this guy. I think he's going to be pretty safe is the key word. But uh, whether or not by the end of like the month and if he's still powerful... Probably, uh, very, very probably, which I'll talk about a reason in a second. Uh, so taking a look at this uh, limit burst, all of that uh, abilities, we've talked about everything to this point until tomorrow at 3 p.m. We will not have any detail, more details about these characters' kits. So hang on to that. But master ability, master ability first off, Cloud is looking at 40% reaction block, which is fairly high for a master ability. He also has a permanent 10% uh, physical damage reduction. Kind of interesting, too, because he is geared towards protecting against magic, by the looks of it. So if he's doing that, and he's also doing uh, some physical reduction, he should be a pretty durable character. But of course, the rest of his kit matters. As for Tifa, Tifa is much, much simpler. Uh, her master ability is... Just single target attack resistance, which is, you know, safe, but a little bit boring. Of course, Tifa will be the first copy the character collaboration. And our first of the new Hollow Vision cards, which, by the way, I would just like to reiterate that at this point in time, all of the uh, VCs are Hollow VCs that are coming with this event. And I do believe all three of them are gotcha. Uh, I... Again, I haven't seen anything. Not that I've looked too terribly hard, but uh, I'm going to assume that they just are, considering how spread out they are. Uh, it would make a ton of sense. But anyway, this VC works towards great swords, which makes sense because it's coming out at the same time as Cloud. It also works with the two out of three sword groups, Red Mage as well, interestingly, with not the Knight group, uh, what's the other group i knew of this before i went in not warrior that's right so warrior and red mage are the two that it works with which basically leaves new version of mont out and in the cold uh not that he really should be too terribly worried about it but if you're curious on whether you are mont is going to get a boost from the advent children not so far uh as for the party ability we are looking at pack up and critical avoidance which is Pretty standard, but I think Greatsword won't mind this too terribly much. Uh, also, we're looking at single target resistance, maxing the VC. For duels only, we're looking at debuff resistance for the character who has this equipped attack and HP up. Which again, uh, June wouldn't hate this VC, would she? <laughs> uh, and uh, last but not least, uh, the Vision Card Mastery. Light ability attack up of two, and not only that, but we're also looking at extra resistance or uh, the shooting variety or ranged. Or either way, uh, it looks to be a nice VC, and we'll have to wait and see what the other VCs look like. But uh, great swords maybe going to benefit really massively from the first little bit of the Advent Children collaboration. Uh, so let's take a look. Uh, so Advent Children, of course, will have its own medals. It will also have its own orbs. Cloud's weapon is the first one to come into the game. And a little bit later, we will be getting Kadaj. But for now, it is just Cloud and Tifa this week. For people who are looking for Tifa's weapon, that will be attached to a challenge board. So hang tight on the details for that one. Uh, pickup match will be going on. Uh, looks like there's going to be some extra spirit and slow. Uh, can't or slow resistance uh, that just means that I think that mages are out for this one so if you the better the physical you have uh, the better off you can be. 
As for Arena, Arena will be hitting a limited time event on JP. And this time around, I mean, it is essentially the Advent Children package with ice, light, and water, uh, which kind of makes sense because we won't be seeing Sephiroth until after this has gone by. Uh, taking a look, also great swords, uh, fists, and katanas. Uh, again, this is looking really great for great swords because, if, I mean, it's not even just Cloud. If you got Joom and A2, that will probably be a strong enough team with any kind of mid-tier tank uh, because it is a cost-limited arena uh, event coming up here. Uh, it's just going to be really, really, really good for people who have already invested in characters. Cool. That's me. Uh, yeah, so limited time event for JP, and I can't remember what the, I, I think the cost was set to like 230 or something like that, So, or the total cost was at 570, but there you go. As for the challenge event, challenge event will be back on JP in three flavors. Uh, one will be against the uh, super weapon, such as is. Uh, the second one will be up against the Snick Tank, which was with the Art Strategy. And the third one, which is the brand new one, which will be against the new version of Vaunt. And all of the details about that, we'll have to wait and see. But if you complete it, it entered into a lottery to potentially win a tiny amount of Lapis. All things, to be honest, with how things are going now. Uh, as for the app update, the app update will be happening. It will have a very bunch of benefits. We'll see how those work and if they work by the time, uh, you know, the update's out tomorrow. Which, by the way, uh, I didn't mention earlier, but I will be streaming uh, slightly before the update goes live and once the update goes live. Uh, so next up, Advent Children. So login bonuses, day one includes a temple for Cloud. Uh, that is generally better than what we usually get, so cool. I do wish that there was a little bit more. As always, I'm always going to want more for the players, less for the uh, execs, uh, so hopefully that would happen, but oh, such is life. As for the first little bit of the Advent Children collaboration, too terribly much interesting here. The usual banners, Tifa has her nine-step, Cloud has the usual and i say this quite honestly like just the usual things for a 100 cost character rather boring and not super interesting tifa is basically for a 90 cost character so the banners are what they are there is also of course this the world's greatest scam banner uh, which i say that half honestly because you get five urs on a 10 pole but i have rarely ever seen anybody come out good on this one so, and that uh the advent children vision card first one will be coming on its own banner and is basically the usuals for a hollow vision card nothing that i'm super excited to uh there will also be the seven visior shop for final fantasy 7 so good for that all right that's basically jp's stuff at a comfy nine minutes in and now I'm going to talk about Global really quickly. So Global has a bunch of stuff coming up by the looks of it. Uh, limited guild battle, six star equipment, uh, class match, another story update, and attack of the realm scourge. Uh, yeah, that's right. That's what that called. I would have known that if I would have just looked here. A nightmare difficulty multi-quest will be held in which a powerful... Lost together with players, limited titles, such and such. Um, so basically similar to what JP will be doing. Uh, you'll also be getting to the final battlefield uh, with six. Almost at the end for you guys. You're right where we are. And the big thing this week is Immer Lance Volk. A fire elemental sphere based character who is a tank. Now... As such, I actually do have this character, uh, and I have fought against him a ton lately, uh, as I have been rocking a water, primarily water-based party. 
and I've been going up against this character in a bunch of different parties, and you know what? He, I'm going to say this. Uh, originally, he seemed bad. Then when you got a better look at his preview, he seemed better. And now he just is basically very, very, very competent. Uh, he works incredibly well with fire, and he works incredibly well with spear, as you would imagine. Uh, he's been thrown into a bunch of different parties, and from my experience going up against him i still think he's a very very competent tank i think that he has lost a fair bit uh with some of the newer characters that have come out that have been just generally stronger and it seems like it's either very hit this as to whether or not he can really really put up a big 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 fight uh of course Physical damage reduction is one of the major things in his kit, and he does have larger the size area attached to support skills. So all of that is very, very effective. The question really being asked here is one that, that I think people want to know is, is this going to be a synergistic character with Sephiroth, which we just don't know because we don't know what the, beast, the next two Katana BCs are really going to look like at this point in time. And we also don't know if Sephiroth's really going to want this as a character, or if he's going to want a different elemental tank like Dario uh, to protect against magic. There, there's just so many ifs, ands, or buts about whether this character will still be good. I mean, my big thing right now is that so many tanks nowadays, when their HP hits below a certain percentage, they get in, or they have the, um, the HP versus and you look at the new ability that is being championed by the new version of Sephiroth, which just shuts that down and shuts down a lot of heal. You look at the AoE bus team that we have nowadays and how strong new characters are. A lot of people have said, well, what if Cloud is like the, you know, the new version of Doom and the new version of Mont being incredibly powerful and a tier zero character? But well, I'll have to say that Sephiroth is going to follow the exact same pattern, which is saying that he could be really, really uh, a negative effect towards any kind of heal-based things and might just negate the activation of tanks. Uh, long and short of what I'm just trying to say in a really roundabout, stupid way is that both might be one that you may not want if you've already gotten a newer version of tank such as dario such as Oldoa, then probably i would say very strongly say to hold off even if the elemental energy is there uh, i might just end up being better throwing a different tank or sephiroth might just all around be better being on its own uh we'll have to wait and see uh my personal experience with Volk though he's quite a strong character for a set also if you're looking for limited time events that's probably going to be the biggest recommendation as i think the winds will be a blowing and by the time advent children is done it could look very very different and of course it depends on the lag time on curse resistance if curse resistance happens relatively quickly then i would say that um tanks will be get a lot of their uh, value. But I'm personally betting on like three months before anything like that happens in any season. And of course, it depends on how good Sephiroth is at making that aspect stick. But needless to say, it should be interesting, at least. And I'm curious whether or not you, your viewer, will be going and trying for... I mean, I'm trying to get through this video real hard without saying a word that my guild mates have used to describe this character. Uh, but long and short, uh, definitely annoying. Let me know if you're going to pick this character up this week, and uh, we'll have lots of juicy Advent Children details for the next three weeks for you guys. So thanks so much for watching. Take care. See you later.